Hey guys, Chucky Boy here once again, and welcome back to the Asian Champions League with Gamba Osaka. Match day four is on the way. We're at way this time at Fulad, who we beat in the last game. So we're going to go straight into it, guys, and uh, enjoy the highlights. So here we are, an away game this time at Fulad, as we said before, the game started. Looking to keep ourselves at the top of the table. Um. Should be an interesting game. It was quite an easy win at home, so I'm expecting a little bit more of a tougher game away from home, as always, just for the fact that it's away from home. But hopefully we can get ourselves a win, get ourselves some points, and keep ourselves at the top of the table. Oh, oh hoo -hoo, that was close. That was close. For a split second there, I thought that was in. Oh, he's in. Akamine, please get in there. Just before half time would be perfect. Get a goal. 1 0. What a time to score. Just before half time. And Akamine beat the offside trap. Lovely little through ball, and thankfully, he scored. Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better, really. Not many chances. In fact, no chances apart from the one you've already seen. And uh, broke the deadlock, which is great. Look at that little run there. Lovely little through ball over the top. I think that's Usami that played the ball. And, uh, yeah, once he's through here, it's all down to me whether I panic or not, basically, and time it right. But, thankfully, kept the nerve and uh, he slotted it in. Nice little finish. 1-0 up just before half time. Perfect. No. Oh, you are joking me. God damn it. Chimba. Well. That's one all. I'm not really sure what to say here because it's kind of a bit of a mess. Thought I'd got the ball and just didn't deal with it at all to be honest deflected not deflected sorry just missed the ball completely there and keeper shouldn't really be beaten at the near post like that it's pretty pretty poor keeping but it's one all and we go again and hopefully we can get the lead no god Damn it, what a finish. And now we're losing. And I'm pretty sure he's just come on. Ah. Give him his credit, it's a great little finish from the edge of the box, but uh, yeah, I shouldn't be uh, conceding goals like that. It's my mistake. Gets the ball right here. I kind of went to make a tackle and just left him open. And it's credit to him, it's a great finish. As you can probably tell, I'm not very happy with losing the game. But hey, we've made a substitution. Arbe has just come on, so hopefully his pace can help us out. We've got, like, you know, 15 minutes to get a result. Speaking of Arbe is in now. Oh, just, 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 just enough. Our base pace is going to prove quite help, quite helpful, I think, in the last few minutes. If we can play it right. Get a goal. Yes! Oh, that's what I wanted. Straight away. Straight away. What a finish. Whew. And there's Lintz again. Scoring a few goals. Ugh, that's such a good relief. Arbe made the run through there. Um, but Lintz got it. And great finish. Not really sure what to keep saying about these goals. They're, they're decent goals. But now what do we do? Do we keep the do we keep the two all? Take a point away from home? Or do we go for an extra goal? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Which one do we do? It's very tempting. Very, very tempting. 
think I may just play it safe and take the point, to be honest. It may happen that way. Unless they score again, obviously, then I will be uh, screwed, for want of a better word. No. Oh, my God. Thank God you missed that. Otherwise, I will have probably swore in this video quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely taking that point now. It's got to happen. I've got to take it. And there we have it. A two-all. I'll take that point away from home after going behind quite late on. Thankfully, I managed to keep the point. Let's go take a look and see where that leaves us in the table. As always, our possession is not great. It's always below 50%. Uh, Yona Kori got man of the match, my right back, which is, shows you just how much my defensive side of things had to kick in that one. Let's go see what happened in the other game. Al Ali beat Al Sad 2 0. So that's us top still by two points. Al Ali now are in second. Al Sad and Fulad can still qualify though, obviously. Going to make the next game very interesting. I believe we're playing Al Sad next, which was our toughest game so far. No, sorry. Al Ali is the game we're playing next. So, first versus second, actually. Um, a win will put me through which is why i want so uh, that's what you have to see next time guys see if we can qualify uh thanks for watching and uh yeah we'll see you again next time